Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit from Dr. Dikshit Clinics, Bangalore. A lot of confusion exists when you go to a medical shop or to like a cosmetic shop and you want to pick up a sunscreen. Now, there are a lot of questions people ask me about sunscreens, physical sunscreens, chemical sunscreen, sunblock, then what is SPF, what is UVA, what is UVB. So when we are talking about all sunscreens in general, we say that what you have to pick is a broad spectrum sunscreen. A broad spectrum sunscreen means it covers for both UVA light as well as UVB light. Traditionally, we used to measure sunscreen by SPF, SPF or sun protection factor and this was actually a measure of UVB radiation on the skin, how much sun, the sunscreen was protecting you from UVB. For example, if there was a SPF 20 and there was a SPF 40, then you realize that the SPF 40 would protect you for a longer time than the SPF 20. But please keep in mind again that people tend to use far less sunscreen than what is recommended. So usually we recommend a teaspoon of sunscreen for your face and neck. That is quite a lot. We tend to use it sparingly because sunscreens usually have a whitish appearance or a sticky appearance. So we use half the quantity. So you are safer choosing a higher SPF. Therefore, if you even if you use half the product, you are at least getting half the SPF in your sunscreen. The second thing is what is the difference between uh, SPF and Boots rating, Boots star rating or a star rating which you see on the sunscreen indicates the sunscreen has been protecting you from UVA as well as UVB. So look for at least a 3 star rating in the sunscreen. The third thing is what is the difference between a physical sunscreen and a chemical sunscreen. A chemical sunscreen has some part of the medicine, sunscreen has some medicine which goes, which uh, interacts with your skin and then offers you the protection. Whereas in a physical sunscreen, it's plain and simple. There is just a particle like zinc or titanium dioxide, which acts like a second skin on top of your skin and it protects your skin. Initially, most of our sunscreens were sunblocks, like the ones the cricketers use, thick white in color on their noses to prevent a sunburn. However, they are now introducing nano forms of these sunscreens, which are not so opaque. They are not so white on your skin. And these are the chemical free or the so-called physical sunscreens or sunblocks. When we talk about uh, sunblocks, again, we specifically insist that children below the age of 18 years use only physical sunscreen as well as people who have any kind of allergy to the chemical sunscreen, any irritation to the chemical sunscreen, they use the physical sunblock. Otherwise, the physical and the chemical offer the same kind of protection. The third thing that I want to tell you is, is there any difference between using like a lower SPF when you're indoors or in the shade or a higher SPF when you're outside? It is probably not needed. You can use the same sunscreen for both indoor and outdoor use. However, if you are under high intensity visible lights as most of our software company people are, or you are under the influence of infrared radiation and means if you are cooking or you are in hot environment, it is possibly advisable to use and check if your sunscreen has an IR rating as well. So infrared also should be covered. So you have your UVA, you have your UVB and infrared rays being covered by a new set of sunscreens which have got all these three components. So it's probably better that you can check with your doctor and explain to them what kind of activities that you're involved in and then pick your sunscreen for daily use. During vacation times and especially if you're progressing towards a beach vacation or even a high altitude vacation, it is possibly important to pick up a specific sunscreen for that and reuse it every two to three hours in order to give your skin the complete protection that it needs.